before I recast, I thought I'd go through the all important rig with you. And it's basically a combi rig. When you're fishing over very light bait, like the cornies, you want something that moves very easily into the fish's mouth. If it's very restrictive, so it's a very, very stiff hook link, then the fish can be sucking at the corn and the hook bait just doesn't go in. So this combi rig is basically made up of the boom material and also then a braided end. So the boom is really easy to make. I've just crimped it at either end. So basically they're double barrel crimps. This is the 0.6 millimeter crimp, the smaller one of the two. Just go through one barrel, round to make a loop through the other barrel and then put it into the jaws of the crimp and it's really important that the round bits of the crimp fit into the little U in the jaws. You don't crimp them flat, you crimp them so you squeeze them to keep them the same shape they are, just compressed down. So literally just put them into the jaws of the crimp, make sure they're all lined up, squeeze it down and that's ready. And I basically test that you know, by pulling it really, really tightly before I cast it out. But if you crimp it correctly, you'll easily get 25 to 30 pound breaking strain out of this 25 pound material. So I've got a large loop at the lead end, and that makes it easier for me to clip it on and off of this quick change uh, swivel. And then at the other end, I've got another crimp, but there's a much smaller loop. So again, through one barrel, round through the other barrel, pull it down so you've got a nice small loop crimp it down and then cut off the tag ends nice and neatly and that little tiny loop is what I'm loop to loop in the hook section on so the braided hook section and a combi rig basically is a combination of materials so it used to be mono and a soft braid this is a stiffer mono so I'm using a stiffer braid this is armor cord that you'd normally use on the spod rod um, very very thin very durable um, and slightly stiffer and I noticed by testing this rig again and again when I first started using it if I used a soft braid like supernatural the hook element always folded back up the hook link because it was so soft as it came to rest on the lake bed it always folded back but by having a stiffer braid on like this armor cord it always sits out nice and straight and I think that helps it to turn and catch hold in the fish's mouth that little bit faster so making the hook section it's a little bit tricky and you need to be able to do the whipping knot um, to do it. So basically I fold over the armor cord so it's about six inches long when it's folded over. I pass it through the eye of the hook so a little tiny loop about a quarter of an inch long is sticking out the eye of the hook. And then I tie my favorite whipping knot. So to do a big loop underneath the hook and then with both bits of line I wrap up once going up the hook and then cross over and go down. And I literally two or three more turns and that's enough. You end up with two tag ends pull those really tight, move it down onto the hook and pull it tight again. And those two tag ends then, there's only one is needed. So I basically cut one off. There's no way the knot can loosen or undo or anything like that. So you end up with one tag end that forms your hair. So then I put a little tiny rig ring onto the hook, go through the rig ring with that hair, back on itself and then back on itself again and pull it up tight and that just locks it in position and you can see there I want it coming off the hook sort of around where the barb is that's really important to help the hook turn over and catch hold and the other thing that helps it turn over is the kicker so that's slid on after I've done the loop um, and this is a medium sized brown kicker a nice angle sort of bending the eye inwards and as the hook link is tight and it flips over and catches in the bottom lip and then the hook, this is one of the Kamakuras. So the, uh, how can we put it? The commercially sharpened hook that is down to an absolutely super fine needle point. I'm sure they convert a lot more pickups into bites and every fish on here has been absolutely nailed on them. This is a size four wide gape, um, just a, a big hook with a small bait, but that doesn't matter because I've got some buoyancy to the bait. So the bait is a little bit of maize that I've literally just soaked overnight, brought to the boil for about half an hour, and that forms the counterbalance underneath the piece of plastic corn. And this is the Bonoffi. I love the white color and it's the pop-up. So with that little bit of sinking maize, it just, it just about sort of lifts up off the bottom. It's not a pop-up, the hook's not sinking slowly, hook's laying flat, but the bait is just that little bit more visible um, amongst all that corn. You imagine a huge bed of corn out there and one little fleck of white, often you can get bites faster on an opposing colour rather than matching it. And the two that have really worked for me on this session, um, I've used the yellow corn but soaked in the garlic goo, in the garlic supreme, which is really, really stinky, turns it a sort of orangey colour. And then I've been soaking the maize underneath in the garlic as well, and that goes proper orange. Um, and that one, or this one, this Bonoffi, have both worked brilliantly over those large beds of corn. 
and changing the hook link couldn't be simpler. The boom stays on there the whole time. You know, that would take 20, 30, 40 fish before I changed it. The end section I'm changing all the time because the hook's going blunt. Even then when I'm winding in across the gravel, that hook point is so fine. I'm dinking the point of the hook sometimes and then just changing it over. So I've got loads of these little loop sections with the hooks already tied on. The hair's not tied. I tie that at the end because obviously if I don't need them on this session and I want a longer hair because I'm boily fishing, I'd use exactly the same setup and just tie a longer hair. So loads of those are tied in advance, so just cut the old one off and then just loop to loop this one on and you're ready to go again.